it was 15th September 2017. It might have been a normal day for us people on the earth. But 1.5 billion kilometers from here, on the planet Saturn, there was something amazing happening. A spacecraft named Cassini, which is weighing more than 2000 kilograms, was about to crash itself into the atmosphere of Saturn. The Cassini Huygens spacecraft is one of the largest, heaviest and most complex interplanetary spacecraft ever built. Its mission was to explore the planet Saturn, which is at 1.5 billion kilometers away from us at the farthest point, and to study its rings and many moons. The spacecraft was launched in 1997 to Saturn. After spending 20 years in space, from 1997 to 2017, 13 years of those exploring the beautiful planet Saturn, its rings and many of its icy moons, the spacecraft was finally running out of fuel in 2017. So mission scientists at NASA had no other option but to crash the spacecraft into Saturn itself, into its atmosphere, so that the high temperatures and pressures inside of the Saturn's atmosphere will crush the spacecraft and vaporize it into oblivion. 15th September 2017, 4 p.m. The spacecraft took a death plunge into Saturn's atmosphere, a place where no spacecraft has gone before. NASA scientists commanded the spacecraft to burn all of its fuel to run the thrusters at 100% of their capacity. The spacecraft speeded up and it was traveling at a speed of more than 1 lakh kilometers per hour, crashing into millions of ice particles that rained down onto Saturn itself from its rings and the spacecraft was fighting to point its antenna towards the Earth, sending signals till the last second. And finally, the spacecraft burned up like a meteor in the Saturn's atmosphere to become part of the planet itself. It was the most dramatic end for any space mission. NASA called it the grand finale. But why NASA had to crash the spacecraft? They could have left the spacecraft just like that orbiting Saturn. Eventually it is going to fall into Saturn, right? After all, no one is living there on the planet, isn't it? We may be wrong. Many years before, the Cassini spacecraft discovered that one of the moons of Saturn, called Enceladus, has liquid oceans underneath the icy surface. Is there any form of life living on Enceladus? We don't know. The spacecraft also discovered that another moon of Saturn, called Titan, there are methane clouds, methane rivers that run into methane seas. Many of the Saturn's moons are habitable for life. They have suitable conditions for life. Does life exist there? Any alien life forms maybe? We don't know. To know more, stay tuned to this channel. This is Space Talk and I'm your host Shrikant Panchala, the scientific Indian. BrainFit TV is presenting you the first ever Indian science series, Destination Saturn, to bring you the mysteries of Saturn as unveiled by the Cassini spacecraft. Subscribe to BrainFit TV. Don't miss the secrets of Saturn. Click the bell icon.